Hey tennis friends, the multicolored courts behind me tell you that it's once again time for World Team Tennis. I'm here at the Newport Beach Breakers Stadium as they're about to take on the Boston Lobsters in their final match of the season. Let's get right to the courts and watch the action. The first event is men's singles with the Breakers' Lester Cook serving in the near court. Receiving in the far court for the Boston Lobsters is former ATP Top 20 player Jan Michael Gamble. Once again, Lester Cook serving from the near court. Now serving from the far court is Jan Michael Gamble. Just like with any professional match, they have a trainer on staff. Right now, Lester Cook needed to have a little bit of ice on his abdomen based on the last game. California the, therapy. the next event is mixed doubles. Now receiving in the far court is the Breakers' Maria Pelletier with Travis Rettenmeyer at the net. Serving for the Boston Lobsters in the near court is current top 20 doubles player Eric Buterak with rising star Coco Vandeweghe at the net. Now serving from the far court is the Breakers' Maria Pelletier. One of the things that I like about coming to World Team Tennis is the whole team atmosphere. Behind me right now, Jan Michael Gamble is warming up for his men's doubles match. And of course, shagging balls for him is his teammate, Coco Vandeweghe. Up next is men's doubles, with the breakers Lester Cook receiving in the far court and Travis Rettenmeyer at the net. Eric Buterak is at the net in the near court for the Lobsters, with Jan Michael Gamble serving. Lester Cook to serve to Eric Buterak. Now Travis Rettenmeyer will serve to Eric Buterak. Now in the near court, Travis Rettenmeyer will serve to Jan Michael Gamble. I'm here right now with former top 20 player Jan Michael Gamble. Jan Michael, you have three ATP single titles to your name. You've had a great career, but you still come out here and play World Team Tennis. Why is that? I love playing World Team Tennis. It's a great uh, group atmosphere. It's, uh, the Lobsters were very much a family. Uh, Bahar Udom, our owner, really made it a family-oriented game in, in Boston. Um, we travel as a team, obviously. We really care about each other as a family would. And uh, for me, I, I'm not on the ATP Tour anymore because of injury. That's not my choice. I'd still be playing, you know, week in, week out if I could. But I have really bad shin problems and, and an arm problem that comes and goes. So I'm excited to just be able to play high-level competitive tennis still and really enjoy my life. It's always great to see Jan Michael out on the court getting it done. The next event is women's doubles. Now receiving for the Lobsters just off camera in the near court is Coco Vandeweghe with Mashona Washington at the net. In the far court for the breakers is Anne Kiathabong at the net and Maria Pelletier serving. <laughs> now Coco Vandeweghe to serve from the near court. Breakers Maria Pelletier is now serving from the far court.
final and decisive event of the evening. The Lobster's Coco Vandewey is serving from the near court to the Breakers and Kiathabong in the far court. Now Ann Kiathabong to serve from the far court. It's match point, and Coco Vandeweghe is serving from the near court. It was another tough match for both teams, but unfortunately the Newport Beach Breakers did lose to the Boston Lobsters in their final league match. But everyone had fun out here, and that's what's so great about world team tennis. I know I said this before, but I just want to say again, it's like coming to one of the majors. You get men's doubles, women's doubles, men's singles, women's singles, and mixed doubles all in the course of one night. It's a lot of fun to come out here to world team tennis. It's always great that after the match, all the kids 16 and under get to come down on court and get autographs from their favorite players. There's a lot of activities, a lot of fun surrounding everything, not just the matches that are on court, there's a whole field of stuff going on. And if you felt that you've missed out, well, you kind of have. And for those of you who only watch my show on YouTube, you need to subscribe to groundspass.net. It's absolutely free, and you'll be on the mailing list, and I'll let you know when the next season starts way ahead of time so you can make your plans to make sure that you check out your local world tennis team. That wraps up my coverage of world team tennis featuring the Newport Beach Breakers. I'm here right now with Coco Vandeweghe of the Boston Lobsters, and I'll see you next time with a lot more tennis. Outside the lines.